Hi, UK here, doing a video on how I was unable to access my operating system, or Windows 8 for that matter, and the reasons behind it, uh, which may or may not be your reasons for experiencing this problem, and hopefully provide you with assistance in getting your operating system back up and running. So for me personally, what I did, which led up to this, was that I created a new partition on my only disk drive. Take note of that, it's possible to have more than one hard disk on your system and I created a partition using Partition Manager in Windows and to show you what I did perhaps you may or may not have done a similar thing and I created a D partition here. Take note, I only have one hard disk with two partitions. On my C on my C partition I had my operating system and all my files and all my data and I created a new D partition and uh, there are plenty of valid reasons why people do this. For me personally I just wanted a backup partition which is unadvisable. You shouldn't have a backup partition on the same hard disk. If your hard disk crashes then you'll lose You'll have to get a new one and all your data will be lost. Uh, alternatively, if you wish to install an additional operating system side by side with your Windows, as an example, you could have a Linux as an additional operating system, a process referred to as dual bo uh, booting. And anyway, so there are plenty of valid reasons to create a partition. Now, my issue was that I, I made my D partition active and by doing so, I made my C partition inactive, which made me unable, which uh, left me unable to access my operating system. So to rectify this, let's discuss what I had at my disposal. I had a Windows image reinstall, or I had the image file to burn to disk to create a installation CD for Windows, Windows 8, and unfortunately. I didn't have any device, which, or I had my wife's computer and uh, new ultra-thin notebooks that don't come with CD or DVD drives anymore, so I was unable to burn this to a DVD, and it's quite large in size, and it's I needed I would have needed at least a four gigabyte disk to burn it on. Regardless, I didn't have a disk to burn it on. I did, however, have a USB device in the form of my Android phone. You can use your Android phone if you have one as a USB flash drive and we can use a tool which I located online called Rufus and just go and look for Rufus you can Google Rufus and of course if you wish to use an Android device, device if that's all that you have at your disposal then you'll need to back up all your music and photos and that um, probably onto a computer that you're going to be using to create a flash device out of your uh, your installation CD and to get Rufus Google for Rufus and just go to the first link and you download it. Rufus is not a application it doesn't install as an application on your system it's a executable and once you've downloaded it you'll need to run the executable it won't install anything on your system it will just execute the application without installing it and once you've downloaded it just choose the logical defaults here you're gonna need to select your image file mine is located on my desktop here's my Windows 8 ISO and choose that and once you've done that obviously you need to plug in your USB device that you're going to burn the disk image to into your system or into your, um, yeah, into your hardware and then you go through the wizard here which will guide you through the process then once you're done you need to restart your system you need to plug in your USB device and you need to access your BIOS, your built-in operating system Normally you get an option of F2 or F12 to access your BIOS and you need to select the USB device through 
the options there as the first device that is chosen when your system boots up. Now, once your system boots up, if you're using a Windows 8 installation CD, you'll get a menu which will look like what I'm going to guide you through in this video and go through the correct options here to fix. So Windows 8 is loading here and uh, to show you the options that you have to go through and So this is the Windows 8 option if you wish to reinstall your system which you probably don't want to do um, discuss that with you and just postpone this warning here sorry so you can do an install again if you wish to in which case all your files and that will be lost uh, alternatively for me I knew that um, I just had accidentally chosen a wrong partition and so forth obviously I didn't want to install the system again I'd lose all my data so I chose the option to repair my computer and there are various options here you go to the troubleshoot option now the refresh your PC option you can choose that and you can obviously reset your PC in which case you will lose all your files as prompted here and if your partition which your operating system is inaccessible like mine was if you choose this refresh your PC option eventually you'll land up with a if you just give me a sec here a screen that looks like file you'll get a screen that looks like this that it couldn't repair your system and I'll show you how to rectify everything hopefully no guarantees of course so refresh your PC you choose that option let's see what happens well this is the error message that probably brought you to this video it says here that the drive where Windows is installed is locked well, the disk drive isn't actually locked, it's just that your partition where your operating system is on is inaccessible. And so we're going to cancel that option. And we're going to go through the other options here. Troubleshoot. Refresh your PC. And you won't be able to refresh it, most likely. And let's look at the other options. And advanced options. System restore. You won't be able to restore your system. You can do try and do automatic repair, but the automatic repair is what got me this screen here. Eventually, it took some time, so I just uh, did a copy and paste here in, to Paint to show you what the screen looks like, and just go through what the other options are here. And we, the option you need to pick is the command prompt, most likely. You can do a system image recovery, which is unlikely because your operating system is inaccessible. You can do a system restore, which we attempted, and you get an error message here. You must specify which Windows installation to restore. And once again, we have to go back to the troubleshoot options, go to the advanced options, and we have the option here to interact with the command prompt which we'll be doing in this video and I'll show you the commands you need to enter. Now the command prompt that I have open here is no different to the command prompt that I have on my actual system. So I'll just show you the commands here that you need to enter. Firstly type in disk part and made a typo disk part and you'll see that you get a disk part 
indicated here which means that you're in the disk part command then you type in list disks or list disk and note here that I only have one hard disk on my system should you have two hard disks some new computers come with two hard disks you probably need to pick the zero option which is your first hard disk and you, you, you do that by selecting select and then you pick the number here usually your operating system is installed on disk zero so you just choose the correct number select disk select disk zero it tells you disk zero is now the selected disk which means that you are now interacting with disk zero and once you are interacting with disk zero you can type in list partition note here that I have three partitions on my hard disk my solitary hard disk I have the D drive here which is or D partition is 125 uh, gigabytes I also have a restore point which is 19 gigabytes and I have my C, drive, C partition which is 321 gigabytes the C partition and I was aware that it had 320 gigabytes on it I needed to reactivate and to do that I used the command prompt now remember the command prompt is the one it differs to the one I'm using here which is on my system but the command prompt that I needed to go to troubleshoot I needed to go to advanced options I needed to pick command prompt this command prompt here is different from the one that I'm using on my system and I'll just go back here right so we've got this part running here and I'll just go through the options again and I'll just close here the screen isn't really relevant anymore and I'll just uh, show you what I needed to do so once again type in disk part and once you've done that you get the indication here that you're interacting with disk part utility type in list disk to list your hard disks typically you have one if you're lucky enough to have two you probably need to pick number zero so to do that select disk zero and you've selected that disk the next thing you need to do is list select or type in list partition and we have three partitions as is verified here and I needed to reactivate my 320 gigabyte partition which had my operating system on and once you've listed the partitions having some difficulty I'll just show you disk part and type in list we're just going to choose select disk zero or list disk and then type in select disk zero and then type in list partition and we have three partitions here and we need to select the one that's 320 gigabytes that was for myself so we say to type in select partition and in this case I needed to select partition 2 
and it tells you that you've now selected partition 2. This indicates that you are busy interacting with partition 2. Then you can type in one of the following two commands. You can type in inactive, which I won't do. This will make this will reverse the effect now and it will make my operating system partition inactive and obviously I don't wish to do that and to just show you what I needed to do correctly and so one more time just in case you missed it disk part and type in list disk and most likely you'll need to select disk 0 and then list your partitions list partition and once you've done that type in select partition and for me I needed to select partition 2 and to activate or reactivate your partition you just type in activate that is because we've got the indication is now the selected partition and type in activate or type in sorry active and it tells you that it has marked the current partition as active and for me this rectified my issue and I was able to reaccess my system I got no errors when booting up my system and hopefully this video helps you get your operating system back up and running thank you for watching